the integral of x squared over x plus 1 to the power of 3 dx. So first we'll say let u equal to x plus 1, then du over dx is 1, because we differentiate it, then du is equal to dx. Let's substitute the x into the u. So we have at the numerator x squared over x plus 1 becomes u, so we have u to the power of 3, and dx is simply du. So what is x squared? Well, if you look at this here, you can see that u is equal to x plus 1. So x is equal to u minus 1, and x squared is u minus 1 to the power of 2. And u minus 1 to the power of 2 is what? It's going to be u squared minus 2u plus 1. So here, x squared is basically u squared minus 2u plus 1. This becomes u to the power of 2 over u to the power of 3 minus 2u over u to the power of 3 plus 1 over u to the power of 3d. Then we simplify it. So u squared over u to the power of 3 is 1 over u minus 2u over u to the power of 3 is 2 over u squared plus 1 over u to the power of 3d. Then we're going to split the integral apart. So we have the integral of 1 over u du minus 2 times the integral of 1 over u squared du plus the integral of 1 over u to the power of 3 du. Now instead of writing 1 over u to the power of 2, I'm going to write it as u to the power of negative 2. And same thing over here. This becomes u to the power of negative 3. It's time to find the antiderivative. So what is the antiderivative of 1 over u du? Well, it's going to be the ln of absolute value of u minus 2 times the antiderivative of u to the power of negative 2. Well, let's see. We have u to the power of negative 1 over negative 1 plus the antiderivative of u to the power of negative 3. That's going to be u to the power of negative 2 over negative 2 plus c. Then what would this give us? Well, it will give us the ln of absolute value of u minus 2 times this is going to be negative 1 over u plus this would be negative 1 over 2 times 1 over u to the power of 2 plus c. This is the ln of absolute value of u plus 2 over u. Then here we have minus 1 over 2 times u to the power of 2 plus c. And the final step is to substitute the u with the x. So here we have the ln of absolute value of x plus 1 plus 2 over x plus 1 minus 1 over 2 times x plus 1 to the power of 2 plus c.